Come here now, girl. Hello and welcome to What's Map, your one-stop shop for everything workshop. I'm Bomb Bombi and you're very, very welcome. Right, today's map, there's a couple of things you might notice straight off the bat. First of all, it looks like a real-life location. That's because it's based on a real-life location. The city skyline to take on such a location, but still a real-life one to start off with. Secondly, it's a bit dark. It's a little bit gloomy. And that's because some idiot... <coughs> Hmm. forgot to switch off the daylight cycle and this was recorded about seven o'clock in the evening now if you want to have a slightly brighter atmosphere during the flyover you can actually do something about this one there's a little luminescence button at the bottom of your screen on the right looks like a little thumbs up if you'd like to give that a little bit of a squeeze we'll have a proper bright fly over That's right, hitting the luminescence button really does support the channel, gets me seen by more people and helps me grow a little bit more every single day. Thank you for your support and for lightening things up. Today's map is Takamatsu a Japan by Omasoba3. Okay, so uh, Takamatsu, Japan is a Japanese city. About just around half a million people live there, roughly. There's your start square, highway running through it, and a lake. Then we have a flat terrain with the uh, standard, typical Japanese forested mountains everywhere. Loads of fertile land around the outside of those mountains as well, so you can do a proper Japanese city build. Very lovely. Uh, fishing, if you want to do some fishing and you have Sunset Harbour, your map will look like this. Okay, off to the workshop. What do we need? Well, no DLC required today. Uh, one of the two out unlimited outside connection options, uh, then prefab hook, harmony, and network extensions too. It is a network extensions to map. Now, uh, no theme is recommended, so we're using the vanilla temperate theme. And of course, with no LUT recommended, we'll be using the realistic 1.3. Two. Two. You think I'd know that by now? Well, I do. They are. Look, it's nice and bright. Thank you very much for all of those. <laughs> Just remember at the end of the show to switch off the luminescence button. No, please don't do that. <laughs> please don't do that. Right, so um, what can I tell you? Well, uh, this is not an outside connection. This particular road here, you notice there's no traffic on it. Uh, I thought I'd follow this one because it was just a natural flow to the flyover. As you have seen already, there are quite a few roads already down. I just wanted to take one that had a natural smooth run to it. And this one certainly does. It will link us onto the highway fairly early on. And you'll be able to see that the highway ramps are actually quite smooth as well. All the trees, of course, are vanilla, so some of you are going to be icking it, and others are going to be going, oh great, I've been looking for a good vanilla. Tr traditional city build map for a long time, and this fits that category quite nicely. Uh, what can I tell you about Japan? Well, they drive on the left, and for the first time, I think, ever, <laughs> Bon Bon has remembered to set the traffic on the left-hand side. I know, right? <laughs> Who expected that? Nobody. Nobody. Anyway, here's our uh, here's our, whole, uh, our uh, elevated highway. You can see the highway ramps are fairly smooth coming up here as well. And then we are up and above and going strong towards the start square. Now, these two lane highways here, Network Extensions 2, are a bit of a problem. Because, actually, these are mass transit. Which means, with no mass transit down for the DLC, I've got to assume that you don't have mass transit. And if you don't have mass transit, this map will be broken. And you may have been sat there for half an hour waiting for the map to load. So therefore, I have to tut very loudly. That's the best I can do, by the way. And so yes, um, but Network Extensions 2 is also required. We'll find a little splash of Network Extensions 2 uh, towards the end of the review. So um, yes, you do need Network Extensions 2, but you do also need Mass Transit DLC. I'd also recommend getting Mass Transit. If you don't have the uh, DLC, I recommend getting it anyway. It's good DLC. It's, uh, I think it's one of those, those base DLCs uh, along with After Dark. After Dark's great because you get all the extra commercial zoning and um yeah, leisure and tourism sort of thing and then um and then of course with mass transit you just get the extra transit options and i think the uh, the other one i would say definitely definitely get would be snowfall if only for the trams if only for the trams 
<laughs> doesn't have to be snowy. You can put trams down on non-snowy. It's all good. Anyway, um, uh, start square-ish intersection. We are in the start square. This uh, this intersection doesn't actually... Well, it does feed into start square, I guess. I guess it's the start square intersection. Uh, we've got a bit of stop-start traffic, but that's because it's um, it's a junction and it's a bit it's a bit clunky and I figure if you're going to be playing this map you'd be playing with um, with a traffic manager anyway I would imagine again I can't imagine anybody who has mods who wouldn't have traffic manager I mean maybe if it clogs your um, system down possibly I can I could get that if you again if you're running potato and listen listen there's a good market for potatoes they are smashing mashing <laughs> sorry uh, anyway this oh just check these down ramps here it's it's on the side of a hill so these down ramps are actually fairly level that i am very much liking all credits to the creator or actually the original city designers of takamatsu in real life now uh, if we have a look at the rail uh what can i say about the rail there is rail and it's fine it's um there's no problems with it it again i have to assume i haven't tried matching this city up with the real life location i i felt it was just one step too far i didn't really feel that it needed doing i have to say that i have to assume looking at the layout that it's a close representation of the real life location and that this rail line roughly follows this path it may be elevated in places it may not be elevated in places but i think anybody in the takamatsu area will probably recognize this as being yeah pretty much pretty much right i would imagine and so um i, I give credit to the creator for that because it it feels right and feeling right is let's say half of the battle Okay, anyway, the rail will head down towards the harbour. When we get to the harbour, we'll be taking that short intermission. We're going to come back in the second half of the show. We've got plenty of pre-set areas. We're going to be leaping from one to the other to look at some uh, not so good, some quite good, uh, and some interesting areas that we managed to skip by by following just the networks. Oh, have a look at this. Catenary Chaos. Oh, no. No, no, no. First one I check absolutely spot on all credit there as well anyway down to the harbour where you'll see another line almost joining almost joining i do want to actually check out this area now i feel, I feel like i have to too late now for today's show do it in your own time everybody <laughs> straight back after this message are you bored with the standard vanilla bridges have you seen those lovely custom bridges but don't know how to use them Ooh, very nice then you need the Beginner's Guide to Custom Bridges by Bon Bon B. Click the information button below. And so to the shipping routes at Takamatsu, Japan. And we have shipping routes, so quite a few of them. All going into those little harbour areas and it looks pretty strong. But then we have a look at this and we can see that there will be definitely some sharp turning um, ships, etc ships etc what else would there be submarines uh and same over here anything coming off the edge of the map here hard right angle turn here there would actually be a lot of shipping going right along the coast by the looks of it and then little zigzags there to get off the edge of the map a water flow the only water in the start square is this lake unfortunately there's no second spawn point in there so i can imagine that that's going to clog up very quickly with sewage unless of course you use custom assets or have any of the special stuff that came with sunset harbor okay good 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 let's have a look at the map as a whole it definitely feels japanese because uh, japan if, if you've had a look at japan we do have a lot of these like pointy little mountains everywhere with um and they're completely densely tree covered as well and then in the middle you have all these clearings where you have like your paddy fields and your regular fields and of course your cities as well and pre-cut harbors which um is one of those things that uh i think you have to have it really makes the uh makes the area come to life doesn't it before you start building on it you can always reclaim some land or demolish it if you don't want it Saw a little bit of blue mantle along here. Um, not too bad when we get close, but yes, it's a very sharp drop off on the edge there. Probably not much the creator could do about it, but I have to point it out. 
Then over here, we've got some trees clipping through the underside of this elevated section of highway here, and a bit of blue mantle underneath there as well, tucked in between the trees. We've got a few lakes where the lake with the water fill is a little bit on the low side. Maybe it is sunny season. Maybe, maybe it isn't. But yeah, they are pretty much all fairly low fill. I feel that we could go just a little bit higher on those. A little bit of blue mantle earlier and a little bit of blue mantle under here, quite probably, because if you have a look there, yep, we got a little bit under there too. So just a couple of bits where we've ripped the terrain. I do have that tutorial on blue mantle on my channel and how to fix it and prevent it. A few more clipping trees uh, on the edge where that bridge has been built later on after the trees have been put down. What more have we got? Uh, edge of map. Yeah, we've got a few more trees under here. This is how we, we were flying towards here and I pulled away at the very last second to have a look at the rail. But we have a few, a few trees over here as well. Little edge of map glitchering all the way around the outside. Lots of interesting glitches like there and here. I uh, don't know what is going on with those, but uh, again, it's right on the edge of the map and I'm not going to mark the map down on these things because it's not anything you'll see from miles away. But yeah, even over here, this is where we started. That's the exact road we started, another one right there. So yes, um, edge of map glitching, but nobody's going to notice it uh, under standard rules, vanilla style rules. It is a vanilla map after all, more or less. Um, more or less. <laughs> Network extensions too. More trees clipping through the underside of that road there. It's almost a vanilla map. <laughs> almost. Right, what more have we got? Uh, we have a start square and we have an asset of the day. And this is by Class. Class is all about the networks and Class has given us some pedestrian paths. This one is the fifth one. It is bicycles only and it looks amazing. I mean, just look at the, look at the texturing on this. This looks like it's been worn and I love it. When you get something where you get worn textures and dirty textures and look at the um, at the elevated sections, look at the fencing on the side. I even love the um, the lights as well. Class has really, really killed it here. Brilliant. Uh, factoids, because factoids. A giraffe's neck contains the same number of vertebrae as a human. I don't know whether that's true, but I'm going to stick my neck out and say that it... <laughs> oh, stop it, Bonbon. Stop it. Okay, I'll stop it. <laughs> anyway, yes, uh, Klus. Klus, I think Klus is on the verges of actually breaking the 1,000 points on the uh, the Creator's Hall of Fame, if I remember rightly. And there's a couple that are edging towards it. I'm sure Klus is up there. So, uh, yeah, well, one of the top creators, all about the networks. Do check out their um, their workshop. There's plenty over there. Make sure you like them up while you're over there, too. Great work. Love it. Pedestrian Path, number five. Bye, class. Today's asset of the day. Right, we've got, well, I think, one more thing to look at. I haven't shown you the river. Right, we've got a little bit of a river thing going on here. And I'm going to... Big it up and then I'm going to knock it down, I think, here. If you have a look, we, this is a bit, a bit of a sort of like a trenched out um, river. But we've got like little bits of floodplain on either side. So it's quite a deep, deepish river. And then we have these little bits along the edges, which are flooding. That looks like it's actually there for flooding. And as I, I'm completely allowed that. I think that looks like it should actually be something that this river would have. Yeah. Then we have some lumpy bumpy water yeah plenty of lumpy bumpy water on this one i'm not going to try and fix it unless enough people ask me to try and fix it we'll do another one of those fix the lumpy bumpy water shows uh this one yeah it's uh it's troublesome and it's ongoing i gave it plenty of chances to sort itself out just when i thought it was sorting itself out another lump would start this this bridge here not a custom bridge this is your network extensions too okay so there is a requirement without network extensions too your entire map will actually be broken so there you go right um end of the show time your chance to vote on the map is it a one star map is it a five star map is it somewhere in between your vote really does count we use it at the end of the month for the viewers choice top 10 Will this be one of the top 10 maps of the month? Only you can decide. Hit the I button now in the top right corner of your screen or in the description. It takes you to the voting page where you can vote for free. But what do I think of today's map? Well, aesthetically, I feel 
it definitely has the vibe of the area. I think they've done a very good job of making it feel like Japan. It is clunky. It is clunky. So I think what we'll do is we'll give it three stars because it is doing the job. There's nothing particularly awful about it. It's just, it's fine. I'll give it a, I'm going to give it a lowish three. Detailing. There's some good work here. But there's a lot of clunky. Again, clunky is the word I think we'll use for today's map. And I can't go any any higher than a high two. I'm going to go high two. It, it, it's got promise. Gameplay potential. I was going to go three down the middle. Uh, then thought of the water flow in the start square. Brought it down to a low three. And then I remembered, of course, we haven't got mass transit listed. Which means technically the map is broken. And I have to mark it as a one. I'm sorry. It's not my fault. <laughs> Takamatsu Japan by Omasoba 3. Um, yeah, a map with plenty of promise. If you have mass transit, you'll be good to go. You can probably have a decent uh, build on that. If you're playing with mods and stuff, you might have a decent shape city as well. So have fun and enjoy. Right, that's it from me. Uh, end of another show. If you're still here, though, you're part of the 20 now elite. Use the words of the day into the comments. Score yourself some population points just for fun. And I'll be back tomorrow with another map in the What's Map series. And I'm promising you it'll be uh, 81 tiles. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be there. Thanks for watching. <laughs>